Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Matches like this oh, rarely end inside the ring, which is what makes them so unpredictable. Ooh, nasty impact. Suplex. Nice. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. That's going to leave a mark. A striking blow. What a boot! Challenger is starting to falter. She's got to remember her championship dreams are on the line here. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Just a step quicker, it looks like. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. Ooh, a gut buster! That was all sorts of nasty. She's looking at it. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weapon power bomb. She's got a chance to the champion into the cover. She's not going away yet. Not yet. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Double impact. No, there's the reversal. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 Alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson, Sergeant Slaughter, alley fight. No. Oh, 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 oh. Von Eric Claw. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. It's locked in. They tap. They tap. move like that, your only choice is to tap out. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.